I've been looking back at my previous sessions and I've been comp contemplating about uh, the reason of uh, my stagnation of, of my strength and um, I always bring in I always bring in the volume aspect of it and I always uh, say that I have to readjust my priorities uh, due to the fact that now incorporating more cardio it affects my it my it affects my strength goals and I don't necessarily want my strength goals to diminish because of of increase in cardio but uh, I think with an increase in cardio uh, ye, I guess I have to learn how to manage the type of energy that I out output in cardio and uh, weight training and I think that comes with change and changing changing my my workout routine definitely affected definitely affected the amount of weight I can lift I mean it's either from that car from the cardio or it's just that the the the, the new environment that I'm working out in feels a lot different and also now that I'm in a commercial gym I allocate more time to accessory work as well uh, back in back in my home gym I only had I only had so much equipment that I could work with so a lot of my movements would always be very uh, compound heavy it seems now that I'm more on I'm more of a well I would say from compound to accessories starting out I was at 70% compound 30% accessory and nowadays working out at a commercial gym I'd say it's a 50-50 split maybe a maybe a slight favor in the compound movements and it's not to say necessarily I'm uh, disappointed in in my lifting numbers I, I'm just it feels like there's a stagnation and I think we, I think changing something uh, whether it be uh, sleep or my my diet plan I think that's something to be looked into um, if if everything else stays constant I think finding those little nuances in changes in your daily life I think those finding those nuances to to increase your strength uh, I think it's worth a I think it's worth a note a lot of times when I'm benching uh, benching at the commercial gyms they tend to have a lot of they tend to have about three benches and I'm not always at the same one and there sometimes they have a uh, they have uh, the the weightlifting barbells on on the bench racks, and those tend to spin a lot more. I'm not pointing out that that the equipment is hindering my performance. It's just something that I like to bring up because changing changing every single. Um, whether it be bench or barbell does have a small effect and it just it'll just take some time to get adjusted to 
and and I'm I, I'm I'm okay with it. I mean, there are, there are times in my journey where I couldn't even go past uh, 135 on on the bench, and uh, here I'm not, here here I am doing a lot more than what I originally started with. I always told myself that in the beginning it would be a tedious process and uh, you may be lifting a lot lighter than what you want but if if the form is there if the foundation is there the the results the results will come and if you're not always looking for the end goal and just appreciating the journey i think that's something more i think it's more worthwhile to appreciate the journey than wanting to get to the end goal it's the it's the grind it's the grit it's uh, lifting with experience that really builds really builds your character uh, in ways that that no one can ever tell you uh, I mean if if someone asks you to go from uh, from newbie to being the strongest in the world uh, I know some people would want that without any work but in actuality once you get there it doesn't seem as it doesn't seem as as great because there was no effort to get to that point you, it was just handed to you and I think what makes this journey so special is that no one could take away the type of work type of work you put in and and the experiences you um, you live through going through all this I think that's something that's very special because you can never you can never buy strength you can you you earn strength there's never a quick fix to get the, get that get to become the strongest in the world you get to get to that point by earning it by putting in the work and that's something that drives me to to work out every day to do something meaningful uh, something that will put me in a in a better mood uh, this week this week's runs were decent uh, I did have a Friday three miler because of, of the anticipation for my long run on Saturday, which is the eight miler. I thought something was really interesting during my eight mile run is that I actually started out at an eight twenty on the first mile, and then all of a sudden at the nine twenty, I'll check my watch and. I checked my watch at the two miler mark and I was I was already a minute uh, pace slower and uh, I had to I had to speed up the rest of the run to really get my get my pace back to um, back to where I want it uh, my goal 
and that was very that was very taxing on my body and uh in the next week i will definitely not do that and make sure that i'm at a good jogging pace so um, next week will be 12 miles and i will definitely pace myself throughout um, that 12 miler that's it for this week and i'll catch you in the next one